Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about WPLMS Assignments. The WPLMS Assignments feature has been added in the WPLMS package in the 1.5 version. So uh, I'm quickly going to give you a tour of what all you can do in assignments and then we can proceed on the detailed tutorial on how to create an assignment and how to connect and evaluate them so so you can open this page in our uh, demo in features under the features tab you'll be seeing the link in miscellaneous section called assignments so as you can see you can attach an assignment to any course and it be shown at the bottom of the course an assignment has a duration and maximum marks so one limitation with assignments is that assignments needs to be manually evaluated so uh, that is one limitation second is uh, if anyone clicks on the assignment they will be taken to a page which looks something like this so up front it shows the connected course for which the assignment has been created the assignment subtitle the assignment maximum marks the assignment duration the duration for every assignment is in days then the ex assignment excerpt and then the start assignment button once the assignment has been started the student will see the full course the start assignment button is only shown to the students who are subscribed to the connected course once the assignment has been started the student will see the full assignment description and if the assignment type has been selected as upload assign upload type then the student will get an upload box with a so the student can enter the additional comments and then click on upload assignment once the assignment has been submitted have been uploaded the the assignment will be shown in this section under my previous submissions tab so a student can upload the assignment any number of times but only the last submitted assignment will be considered for evaluation the student can clear all the previous submissions using this button and to finally submit an assignment student can click on the submit assignments uh, button here apart from this we have also created an all assignment submissions so uh, this section is only visible to administrator and the instructor of the course this uh, section is particularly important if the uh, course assignment if the assignment is not connected to any course so this way you can create independent assignments and you can you can evaluate them or you can give remarks to students manually so in this the name image and the comments of the student appear along with the attachment so in this case the attachment was an image so it is being shown as an image here next is the manage assignment so under the uh, admin tab in the single course the instructor can see assignment submissions under the submission section so much like quizzes uh, you can simply click on the evaluate icon to evaluate it you can also click on reset icon to reset the assignment submissions done by a user and you and after clicking on evaluate you can see the assignment question and then the remarks of the student and you can download the attachment and then you can enter the marks for the assignment and remarks if any so once you give remarks and click on give marks the student will be sent a message with the remarks uh, which will be also shown in the results section so this is from the in introduction part for the assignments next is we will start creating assignments so after you have uh, installed the assignments plugin you should see an all assignments section under the LMS tab 
So please note that for every time you activate a new plugin, you, you should go to permalinks under the settings tab and click on save, save permalinks just to avoid any permalinks related issues. So you can simply click on save. So next is we'll start creating assignments. So an assignment can be simply created by clicking on the add new link in the all assignment section. And you can enter any name. So you can say dynamics assignment. Then you can add any content. So this is the question for the assignment and you can add an assignment subtitle you can select a sidebar for the assignment you can enter the maximum marks so these marks will be included in the course evaluation so assignment maximum time limit so this time limit is in days if you want to include the assignment for course evaluation then you can enable it and then select the course so otherwise the course selection will have no impact if the course evaluation is not switch on then you can select the assignment submissions type you can select upload or text area which is the simple uh, box you would not see a upload section and then the attachment type so attachment types needs to be very carefully monitored so you can, depending upon the question type, you can select what all attachment types do you permit your students to be. So next is the assignment type, which is primarily used for the for filtering out assignments in the back end. So we can create a new category for this and then publish. Once published, you can view the assignment and you can see we are seeing the excerpt and then the start assignment button, the number of days and the maximum marks. So the all assignment submission section is only is visible because I am logged in as an administrator. Next we need to connect this assignment to a particular unit. So we are going to connect this to the Amazing Dynamics course. So we go to all courses and we edit the Amazing Dynamics just to check what all uh, units are there. So, so we can add the assignment to any particular unit. So we can add it to introduction or this is my unit. So we are going to add the assignment to the unit. So now we go and connect an assignment and we attach the dynamics assignment to this unit and we click on update. Next we view the course which has the introduction unit. So we are using PMP Pro for this demo so but the rest of the thing is same so we click on continue course. And this is the new progress bar we have added so and so we click on introduction and you can see the assignment now we have given a hook in our forums using which you can hide the complete this unit button for unless and until the assignment has been submitted so to see the assignment one can simply click on the assignment and the start course is parallelly and open so so this is opened in a new tab to start the assignment simply click on start assignment and here it shows the allowed file types so after the student has uploaded the assignment and added some custom text to upload simply click on upload assignment 
okay so once uploaded the student will see the assignment and the downloadable clicking on it will open this uh, download will download this file so we once the assignment submission is complete you can simply click on submit assignment and the assignment is complete so if student clicks on check results the results will currently show as zero because all assignments need to be manually evaluated so next is we see the admin sec admin part of this we go to back to course and then we go to admin panel in submissions as you can see we have the submission by the student in the assignment submissions to reset you can simply click on reset icon and to evaluate click on this and we have the attachment so if you simply click on a new page since it was an image so we can see the image and next we can give marks and add some remarks So once you have given the remarks and you can simply click on give marks so marks have been saved so if you want to change marks you can do it at this very point and it will send a new message and pre-assign the marks for the assignment once you migrate away from this page like if you click on submissions again you cannot do it again so the assignment submissions are not present because we have evaluated so if you if we go and check our inbox so we have obtained the assignment results and we have obtained 12 marks out of in the assignments so one can simply click on the check results and see see the assignment and it shows the marks and a button to see instructor remarks if you click on it it will take you to the same message chain so the instructor and the student can this way communicate among themselves about the remarks and the and the marks next is the evalu course evaluation so we are going to continue the course and simply finish off all the remaining remaining parts or all, all right so I have now submitted the assignment and evaluated the assignment and I have also submitted the quiz in our curriculum so everything has been evaluated and we can now click on finish course and it has been submitted for evaluation so as a as administrator I can go and check the submissions so in, in course submission I see the administrator submission which is also the student so here as you can see I can see my quiz marks and I can see my assignment marks based on which on, on this score the if the course has been set to auto evaluate mode then the the percentage calculated will be based on this score which is basically the addition of quiz marks and the assignment marks alternatively for manual uh, submissions you need to enter it manually so that's it from the uh, WPLMS assignment tutorial uh, thanks for watching